Thousands of people are boycotting the social media company Twitter after accusing the platform of allowing racist comments to remain on the website. Last week, grime artist Wiley sent out a series of anti-Semitic tweets, including comments linking the Jews to the KKK. Wiley tweeted, If you go to work for a company owned by two Jewish men and you challenge the Jewish community in any way, of course you will get fired. The tweets remained on the website for 12 hours before being taken down whilst Wiley was prevented from tweeting on the platform for a week. The chief rabbi accused Facebook and Twitter of being complicit in the hatred and joined a boycott of Twitter for 48 hours. Several high-profile figures have joined the boycott under the hashtag NoSafeSpaceForJewHate, including Lord Sugar, Gary Lineker and Rachel Riley. I think the reason why there's a lot of anger with social media companies um, in the issue of Wiley and anti-Semitism more generally is that they're sort of saying, well, if you are going to go down the censorship route, then at least hold everyone to the same standard. And many people feel that in the case of Wiley um, and his uh, anti-Semitic uh, comments across social media, it took too long for him to be, for some of his comments to be taken down in, in comparison to the way they deal with other, you know, other, there have been other incidents of racism on social media and also the uh, proportionality. So they've chosen to, you know, temporarily suspend him. Other people for uh, saying other things get permanently suspended or permanently uh, taken down and deleted off social media. Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs, the former chief rabbi, uh, I think he put it very eloquently when he said that the way that anti-Semitism mutates through the generations is that it pins its value in society at the time. Um, so throughout the Middle Ages, religion was the highest value. And so the Jews were Christ killers. Um, in the 19th, 20th century, science was the highest value in society and therefore racial theory was used to hate Jews. Now today, in the post-Holocaust era, um, how, is, how is it possible, you may ask, that uh, anti-Semitism could get a free pass when the highest value in society of the time today, I would say, is you know, human rights? anti-racism, uh, supporting oppressed groups, uh, anti-genocide, anti-oppression. How does that work? Very simple. How does anti-Semitism mutate? The Jews are the oppressors. The Jews are the racists, the committers. The, the Jewish state is the, the, the chief evil uh, in the world, committing genocide, apartheid, racism, all the rightly so cardinal sins, but they falsely labeled uh, Israel as, as committing those. And it's the same with what happened with Wiley. The Jews are this unique, powerful, oppressive force. Um, he, I think he even said in one of his tweets, they, they, they funded or created the KKK. Now, I, I'm not quite sure how that works when the KKK were a deeply anti-Semitic movement uh, in and of themselves. Um, but it's, it's exactly that.